Jean had a little apartment at the Bel Air Hotel. Jean was supposed to do uh, The Little Prince. They delayed his role in it mm -hmm. for three months so that he could work in our picture. And uh, Laddie was very kind, very good. Because even explain, then we're the Bel Air was we're expensive. Speaking of, we're speaking of Alan Ladd Jr., who was in the head of production of 20th Century yeah. Fox. Jean <laughs> had a little like bungalow and a fireplace and the only thing he asked for, he was so crazy. Gene, was, Gene is still crazy. But he kept saying to me, uh, the only thing is I would meet him. I'd have dinner at home, and I'd run over, and I'd be there by 7.30 or 8 o'clock. And then when we were writing this, while we, I was editing Blazing Saddles. I, anyway, I ran over, and I had to bring a box. Well, I brought a box at the beginning, a big box of Earl Grey tea. He loved Earl Grey tea. And digestive cookies. <laughs> they're English cookies. I think they make you go. I'm not sure. <laughs> but, you know, they're, they're a brown, cinnamon-like, oh, crunchy yeah. cookie. Mm -hmm. And I had to eat like four or five a night, you know, to keep him company and drink this, this focaccia tea what? that kept me up all night. <laughs> what? What were you saying? I said you're to keep your bowels what? No, 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 no. I, I did all right. I, <laughs> I didn't understand you. No, no, no. I think anyway, digestive. They were called digestives for some reason. You know. To help your digestion. Uh, oh, I see. Very good. I never figured that one out. <laughs> anyway, so we took our time, mm -hmm. uh, and every night we'd write a scene, or we. Mm -hmm. We, uh, the only, uh, we were puzzled. The, the, there was only one character that, that puzzled us in the writing. We knew, you know, Cloris was the easiest one because she was, she was in Rebecca. She was that terrible person who ran the house in the Hitchcock picture. And she was easy. Uh, Jean... <laughs> She was easy only because we knew we had a we had a really truly an incredible actress, and we knew we could just throw her the part and we didn't have to worry about it. You know that was that really. Exactly. Uh, Igor was we, we didn't know what the hell. <laughs> I, no, we called himself Igor. I'm sorry. You called him Igor. I thought we wrote that in the script. Yeah, all right. And then... I said it. But you, <laughs> it's true, she did say it. But anyway, Kenny Mars, Inspector Kemp was a strange... Yeah, he was so great. And um, on the first day of shooting, I said to Kenny, you remember you were there, I said to Kenny, when Kenny was shooting, I said, Kenny... Your German accent is so good. It's so uber barbarian. It's so perfect. I don't understand a fucking word you're saying. <laughs> Not a word. <laughs> Not one word. I said, don't be such a great German actor. Just clear it up enough so we know what the hell you're saying. <laughs> and, we, and it was difficult. You know, we'd look at each other. <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally, we got we got he he got it right, but it took a long time, didn't it, Mike? I mean, it took a long time. To, so so solving Kenny Mars was a tough one. 